Okay, uh, this is a short little assignment video tutorial on creating your pyramid in SketchUp. Okay, so we're going to click on this link here. I'm just in modules. Okay, and I'm going to click on pyramid here. You've got some instructions here. You need to open up the SketchUp online schedule, log in with Google. Then, then you're just going to just open up a SketchUp file. Then you're going to open up Google and take a screenshot of this area you want to take it in because in architecture it's uh whether we're building something or designing something it's actually in 3d it's actually in the location right so we have to actually grab the, like a screenshot of what that location is going to look like so we know the what the building is going to look like in real life so we're going to take a screenshot of we're doing a pyramids the pyramids of giza so we're going to take a screenshot of that upload it to our schedule file and then use 3D warehouse to put in landscaping or sending items, five different things. Okay, so first off, we're going to click on this link here. And we're going to log in with Google. Uh, that comes up and click no. Uh, so we're going to create a new file here. Okay, so you just create a new file. You don't do anything. So then you got to log in with Google. I log into Google Earth here, and it should look something like this. What we're going to do is we're going to search for the Pyramids of Giza. So I already have it right here, Pyramids of Giza. If you don't have it, type in, you know, P-Y-R-A-M-I-D-S of Giza, G-I-Z-A. So it'll be Pyramids of Giza. Okay. So it's going to scroll down and zoom in to the actual pyramids there. I'm just going to scroll out for a minute. Um, you want to change this to where it says, uh, that's 3D, but you want to change it to where it says 2D, okay? And you want to reset um, the rotation there so it's actually straight up and down. Like the red is facing straight up. Okay, then we're going to actually click on this uh, search bar. And we're going to type in the letter S and grab the snipping tool. Then we're going to click on new. This is creating a screenshot. And now we need to create a screenshot of our little pyramid here. Okay, so it's a screenshot. We're going to save it. Come in the save icon right here. And just name it as a uh, pyramid. Yeah, pyramids like this. Okay. And now we can close that. Now we're going to go back to our schedule file. So now we can click on these three little lines and then click on import from my device. And again, my device, and I need to click on the pyramids here. And I click open, and it's an image here. And I click on from origin, origin, and scroll out just as far as I want to go. So the pyramid is pretty big. So just whatever, as I want, right? So this needs to be able to look uh, quite a bit larger. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this little image here, and we're going to trace off these pyramids. So with the square. The rectangle tool so I need to click on just eyeball it okay and this needs to be the, just a little dash line here tells us that actually it's creating a rectangle perfect rectangle so there I'm creating the second one so from here I'm going to go down to where make sure it has that dash line it just means creating a perfect perfect rectangle right there Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is use the pencil tool, and I'm going to just connect the corners. So that needs to be an X. This needs to be an X. And uh, this needs to be an X on this one. Okay. So now I'm going to rotate around so I can see that. So I'm just going to go click on the center there and click up on the blue line. Let's see, about right. Right here. So then I can click on that from the line here. Sorry, I undo that. So I'm the line straight down to the corners. Okay. All four corners. So it makes a pyramid. And I'm going to rotate around. And click on that pyramid. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this pyramid up here. Uh, so I'm going to scroll, uh, rotate around. And this needs to be um, on the vertical axis too. And I'm going a little too far. So I'm using the blue line here. And I can see that dashed line is making the exact same height. 
So now I can go back and make it all four corners here. Oh, on to that. I made a mistake. So I just click on the center and down here. And go from center again into the four corners. This corner to that corner. Okay, so now we get my appearance here and I can click on the materials, the paint bucket. It's going to bring up my materials. Now I click in the search bar. I'm going to click on stone and I click on this. Uh, it's called a granite light gray. So I just apply that material to all four corners of my pyramids. And then I apply it to these corners. Okay, so I've got my gray uh, pyramids going on. Okay, so now I need to go to uh, these like three little dots. Three, I'm sorry, three little squares here. That's my 3D warehouse. So I'm going to click on, I can search on something right there if you want to, but I click on the search bar. And then I can click on the category. See, like I want to grab a landscape. Then I'll, I don't want products. I want modules here. So you need to actually click models. So these need to be a three-dimensional model. So then I can search a uh, palm tree. Um, okay. So I've got a palm tree. And I can find, I, you know, you don't have to choose the first one. It needs to be five different items there. So there's a palm tree. So I'm going to place it there. And it's got the blue box around it. It's the, uh, like a cube. So that palm tree is kind of big. Okay. Actually, eh, it might not be. Uh, so if you want to, res if you want it, you don't have to, but if you want to scale it, it's already selected. And I can grab on the skill tool and scale it. It needs to be from the corner. So let's say I want to make it about this size here. And just deselect everything. So the blue means it's selected. That means it's disliked. So if I want to actually copy it, right click, and copy it, and then right click again and paste it. So then it's actually a bit another uh, tool there. Okay. But an easy way to do that is actually just select it, control C for copy, and then control V, just like everything else on the computer. And that way I can actually copy a few palm trees if I want. Okay. So there's a palm tree there. There's a few palm trees out here. So I can populate these with a few palm trees. Okay. But that's one item. And you see, like, you have to have five different things from the warehouse that are required. So that's one thing. And I click back on the cert. I'm sorry, the modules, the components 3D. And that can go to maybe the categories again. And maybe I grab another, some more people. And this needs to be models. So I can grab here and let's maybe I grab uh, Stacy. Yeah, digital matter. So I can click on here and then I need to scale her down. So she's scaled. Actually, she's two dimensional. So that's fine. So grab from the corner. If top from the top, it's gonna if you click and drag, it's gonna squash her down. Yeah, don't want you to do that. And I'm gonna click from the corner. And make it the right size there. Okay, that's about the right size. So uh, click on her. Then, uh, if I want to move her around, I click on the move tool. I kind of select it and I click on the move tool. Oh, I'm sorry. I click on undo and I click on this uh, scale tool again. Oh, I'm grabbing the wrong thing. Got it. You see her selected. Now I click on the scale tool. And I'm scaling her down. Right. I'm just clicking on her to deselect everything. So I get her selected. And if I want to grab the move tool, it lets me move her. So yeah. So I've got her. I can go down because it goes below the picture. So I've got there. Okay. And if I want to copy it a few times, I click Control C, and we want to create her over here. There she's over there, and maybe there's a few stages. Okay. And I can click back on the three little boxes. That's my three to warehouse there, and let's go to the next thing. So let's um, grab to. It can be anything. Like you can actually grab furniture or electronics, but um, 
you can actually grab like maybe uh, animals. So we're gonna grab models again, not a product, a model. Okay, maybe uh, I want to grab a, a picture of a. I don't know why a dog would be there, but it's got some different things. Um, let's grab a picture of a horse. Okay, I like that one. Oh, I guess something didn't work. So, oh, I've still got the person selected. Let's see what it did again. Let's see if that worked again. Maybe try a different one. So I've got the animals and models. I've got, mm, let's try a, I don't know, this Egyptian lady. Let's download that. Yeah, so I got the Egyptian way. Okay. So, like, maybe she's sitting out here, laying out there, like that. Okay. So, if I want, I can tip Control C and Control V, and I can got her uh, second time. Just wait for the computer. Okay. So, I've got her again. So, I'm going to put her up by this other pyramid. Okay, so you got some time to kind of uh, decorate your, I guess decorate is it's a good word, decorate your pyramid scene with five different things. They can be multiple of, of those five, but they need to be five different things. So like I have palm trees one, this girl is two, um, I've got this guy's, this uh, you know, Egyptian lady is three, okay? And maybe I want to put in the car or something or whatever you want. But it needs to be five different things. And then what you do is actually you need to save your image. So click save. And yes, purge all if it comes up. Click on the schedule. And then you need uh, this. I just did my trial thing. So you go down here and type in Pira uh, P-Y-R and my Pyramid. Okay. Um, you type in pyramid, that's fine. Click save. And then you're going to actually, this we call pyramid. What do you do now is actually export. Uh, let's actually save it. So we're going to actually now just click back on home since it should be saved now. And I click on these three little dots. That's let me download copy. And that's downloading a copy of my SketchUp file. And I go back to here, uh, Canvas, I'm sorry. Click on Start, Upload, and Choose. And I got my Pyramid SketchUp file. Click Open. It has to be a SketchUp file. You cannot turn a screenshot. And then you have to click Submit. Okay? That'll finish it. Thanks for watching.